This tutorial will walk you through the steps of creating a schematic diagram for a full adder circuit. So first of all, we want to create a new empty project using the project wizard. And here we're choosing the working directory. And I'm going to call the project full adder. And it's an empty project. Here we are not adding any files. So we're skipping to the next step of choosing the target hardware. The board we are working with is the 5CSEMA5F31C6. Next. The project has been created and now we are ready to add the schematic diagram. So we choose new block diagram schematic file and here it brings an editor and we are choosing the logic gates that we are using for our schematic go to primitives logic And we're looking for the XOR. Just click and it will place the XOR on the editor. If you want to change the gate, go back here. And we're choosing the NAND2, the two input NAND gate. Now we want to add the inputs and outputs, so we go back here to the pin and choose input. And for this circuit we have three inputs. Go back to the pin and choose output. And we have two outputs. By double clicking the label, you can add your own label. So we're going to call this input A, this input B, and this input C. And the first output is sum and now all we have what we have to do is connecting the components together To double check if the wires are connected properly, if you move the component, you find the wires moving as well with the component. So it, this means they are properly connected. So let's continue.
this one is connected directly to the output So everything seems to be connected properly. So we are ready to compile. We go up here, start compilation. And we should save it. The same name as the project name. So it's full adder dot bgf. Save. Take some time. You can see the progress here. We are using the Quartus Prime Light Edition 15.1, which you can download for free from the Altera website.
so the compilation was successful zero errors and here's our schematic diagram the next step will be to simulate this schematic diagram which what we will see in the next tutorial